We have here a spring of unextended length 40 millimeters. Unextended, you can call it the original length. I like to use the symbol L naught. N A U G H T. This is zero. L zero. And it's suspended from a fixed point. So we got them hanging here. Okay. Then now you add on a load of 16 newtons applied to the free end of the spring. So I'm going to say I will pull this spring down and cause it to extend a little further due to a force. Okay. It's going to be our 16 newton. So then this causes the spring to extend so that its final length is five times the original length. So you go from 40 millimeter times five. Uh. So now the new length will be five times of LO, which will be 200 millimeter. Wow, so long. Uh. Okay, okay. And the spring obeys Hooke's law. Good to know. What is the energy stored in the spring due to this extension? You know, if you say, Miss, can we use force times distance? Well, not really. Because this F dot F times S, if you come to this form already, you are assuming that force is constant. And then your force displacement graph is a straight line like this. That's why the area is just a square, which is F, the height, times S, the length of this rectangle. But cannot. Uh, you think about the force. Uh, remember, remember, we saw in the earlier video, Misty talked about the force of a spring. The force F equals to Kx is actually what's happening here. So the more you stretch, the bigger the force. Uh, you cannot already. Lah. So we cannot use this anymore. We have to make some variations here. We need to remember that, oh wait, our spring, let's wrap this off. The force exerted by the string or on the spring actually has to increase like this. And the area here is actually a triangle, remember? So what's the area of a triangle? Mm. So this one will be half kx. Or the first one we start with half fx, sorry. So the height is f, the length is s, half fx. A variation will be half kx squared. So I think here we don't have k. Ah. The easy one will be to use half fx. So we're going to write the proper form for this one. Integral of f ds. Don't forget the vector heads. Somehow, we do some mathematical magic, we get this. Find area under the graph. Alright. So, we're going to use half fx to find our equation answer. So, work done, or rather, the change in energy, elastic potential energy, work done, or change in energy, is going to be half fx. So, half times... 16 newtons that stretch the spring in the first place. And then the extension. We go from 40 until 200. So extension is your final length minus your original length. So this will be 200 minus 40, giving me 160 mm. Okay, so we write here 160 times 10, negative 3. Okay, so when I press calculator, I should get about 1.28 joules. That's my answer. And so A will be the best choice once I run it off to 2SF. Alright, so that's all for this question. I'll see you in the next one when we look at more springs.